Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to give a shout out to my moderator, Dirty Sprite Enterprise. Go check him out. And uh, he actually sent me a link regarding HDR 10 Plus firmware update that's going to be available for those of you who want to be the first beta testers if you will this is like the beta test so at your own risk you know <laughs> download this firmware update because it's still a beta so some I don't know I guess if you wanna take that risk or not but I think for me it's worth the risk because I do have OPPO UDP 203 and I do have Q8FN uh, currently there's going to be two 4K UHD Blu-ray discs that will be released uh, this year called A Beautiful Planet and Journey to the South Pacific. It's like two, I think, documentaries that will uh, be showcasing HDR 10 plus. I think 20th Century, 20th Century Fox will release some, re will re-release some more of their movies in HDR 10 plus movies like Die Hard movies like Predator so that's kind of cool that we're gonna see HDR 10 plus I also heard a rumor that finally we might be getting a Alien Director Scott Special Edition HDR 4k UHD Blu-ray version I don't know if there will be HDR 10 plus in it I assume we might see a HDR 10 plus I also heard that uh, James Cameron is working on remastering Aliens Special Edition 4K UHD Blu-ray version along with the Avatar. These are all the rumors that I heard. <clears throat> we'll have more information on this throughout coming months, throughout this year, but these are just the rumors. Okay? I heard it from somebody who knows somebody that works in home entertainment at the Fox Plaza uh, building which is in LA in Los Angeles uh, just hypothetically Fox Plaza it's actually Nakatomi building a fictional building Nakatomi building for the movie Die Hard but that's a Fox 20th century Fox home entertainment building okay anyway but someone who works there who knows someone there in California in LA said it to my friend and my friend said it to me it's a rumor that there is a <coughs> alien director Scott and aliens director Scott coming down the pipeline along with the avatar that's the rumor that I heard so let's talk about this uh, here's what you're gonna have to do okay so uh, there's the link here this is a uh, high def digest I'll send the link down below so you guys can check it out. There's a link here. This is High Def Digest and they will have firmware update for UDP 203 and UDP 205. Now UDP 203 and UDP 205 they're not being designed anymore in a production because Oppo has officially stopped making them. For what reason they stopped making them, I don't know. Uh, Oppo never officially gave us the reason. Not that they have to, you know, they're a private company. They don't have to give us any reason. Uh, but it would have been nice if they explained to us as to why they stopped. It's not like they were not being successful. They were very successful at selling this product. A lot of people were buying it. Yes, it was expensive, but people were still buying it because it was such a good product but why they stopped making them I don't know so HDR 10 plus it's a open dynamic metadata this is where I was here let me highlight this for you hold on let me come back okay HDR 10 it's an open royalty free dynamic metadata and when we say dynamic metadata, it means it's open. Uh, so it's similar to Dolby Vision. The reason I'm highlighting this because I want you guys to understand that this is similar to Dolby Vision. It's an open 
free dynamic metadata. It means that the peak brightness can go higher. The uh, it can go up to the wider color gamut. It'll probably support 12-bit in the future. So HDR10 Plus it's going to be a true competitor, in my opinion, to Dolby Vision. But then again, the jury's still out on that one. Dolby Vision obviously has been around longer. So we'll see. But what you're going to need, obviously, it's a TV that's compatible with HDR10+. Plus. Currently, there's only Samsung and Panasonic. There's uh, Q8, 8, Q9 series and there's Panasonic models in Europe which I'm not familiar but it's only Samsung here in the United States and if you live in Europe you have Samsung and Panasonic I don't know why Panasonic doesn't have North American market and they're only stuck in European market I don't know what's going on there uh, that's something you guys have to keep up with uh, shareholders stock and the whole financial thing, the Wall Street, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm not like up to date on that stuff. But all I know is that you will need a Samsung TV Q8 or Q9 to take the advantage of this because the Q8 and Q9 support HDR10+. Plus. Now, HDR10 is an open, royalty-free, dynamic metadata platform for a high dynamic range developed in partnership with Samsung and Panasonic and 20th Century Fox. So this is why I said 20th Century Fox, because they're the ones that are in partnership with Samsung and Panasonic. That means that we'll see plenty of HDR10 plus 20th Century Fox movies being uh, released this year and 20th Century Fox has a healthy library of 4k movies you know The Martian it's 20th Century Fox I think the first movie we'll see is The Martian we'll see that we'll see the X-Men obviously we'll see uh, Logan HDR 10 plus so we'll see all of those 20th Century Fox movies The Predator obviously we'll see that as well I mean, 20th Century Fox is a big company, so that's kind of a good news. They have a, a lot of good movies, obviously, in their library. I'm kind of looking forward to that. So, let's get to the bottom of this. To install this public beta firmware, you will need to download it through a website, which is right here for full instruction. You have to go to... Uh, OPPO website and from there you need to download the, the beta firmware. You download it on your computer first and then from a computer you copy and pa paste and you extract it to your USB drive. So basically you just extract the file via WinRAR or whatever you have, whatever zip file you have and you just extract it to your USB dongle and from there you click here and they're going to show you uh, full steps on how to do it this is the uh, the OPPO website here uh, it was released in December 28 and right here they tell you what to do you use the thumb drive to your computer USB or you can use a firmware upgrade disk and then here it tells you what the firmware uh, update name is. Uh, you can read all of these steps by step. It's really simple, guys. This is very easy. Uh, if you haven't done this before, it's really simple. You just download it to your computer. And from your computer, you put it and copy it to your thumbstick drive. And then you safely remove your USB thumbstick drive and you plug it in to the USB uh, 2.0 that's in your back of your OPPO. You just plug it into a USB port on your OPPO UDP203 USB input 
and then from there you go to the settings and you read the data all of this stuff it's fairly fairly easy if you guys want me to do a video on this to show it to you step by step I'll, I'll do it if you guys want me to but uh, there it is <clears throat> it's a UDP 20x bin there it is right here anyway big shout out to dirty sprite I appreciate him uh, giving me this video I mean the link to this uh, actually he made this video happen as a matter of fact today I cannot talk he made this video happen because he contacted me through PlayStation Network and he gave me the link and he let me know about this so big shout out to Dirty Sprite like I said if you guys want me to do a video on this how to do this I'll do a video I'll show you how to do it for those of you who have Oppo and Samsung Q8 FM but just please keep in mind you gotta have Oppo 2 or 3 and you gotta have a Samsung Q8 FN in order for this to work or Q9 FN in order for this to work I'm going to uh, probably do a video on this and then whenever they release the uh, those two discs Beautiful Planet and the Journey to well, whatever it was whenever they release a compatible 4K UHD Blu-ray disc that supports HDR 10 plus then I'm gonna test it but I don't know if right now if right now I should be doing this because I have no content available to test so right now it would make no sense for me to do it I'm probably gonna wait I'm gonna wait till they officially uh, release a couple of uh, HDR 10 plus movies on the disc once they do that, once I re re receive the disc, then I'm going to do this update, then I'm going to test it. But until then, right now, I mean, I don't think there's any point me installing this because there's nothing available. Those discs aren't released yet, so I cannot order them, I cannot have them. I have to wait to see when the release date's going to be. But don't worry, uh, this is good news because I'm looking forward to see all of those movies from 20th Century Fox and uh, it's gonna be awesome I think it's gonna be awesome to see how HDR 10 plus stacks up with Dolby Vision you know because they're both dynamic metadata uh, they're not static unlike uh, HDR 10 HDR 10 it's limited it's a static metadata you can only go to a certain locked uh, metadata this is open, free source, dynamic metadata, so, you know what I mean. Well, anyway, there you have it, guys, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was informative. Like I said, a uh, big shout-out to Dirty Sprite. You know, he deserves the credit for this, not me. So he's the one that find out about this. So uh, Dirty Sprite Enterprise, big shout-out to him. And, uh, well, thank you guys for watching this video. All right, guys, have a good one, though. Take care.